Okay, I'm gonna give you a very simple training plan and method to be able to run 5K in 15 minutes. Now, imagine going from not being able to run 25 minutes for 5K to being able to run 5K in 15 minutes and then moving on to longer distances and representing my country in the marathon and being able to hold four minutes per kilometer for 100K and become British champion. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step plan which works no matter what your goal time. All you need is a goal time that is exciting enough but also realistic. So let's dive in. Now, for 15 minutes, what we need to be comfortable at doing is running 200 meters in 36 seconds. And all we're going to do in stage one is focus on five times 200 meters in 36 seconds. 36 seconds for 200 meters times 25 is 15 minutes. And so we're working at building volume over just a short distance, 200 meters, but we're working at building volume at the pace that we're trying to run in the future. And depending on where your starting point is right now, depends on how long it's gonna take us to get to running that sub 15 minutes or whatever your goal time is. So the first session is five times 200 meters. So just one kilometer's worth of hard volume, but we're focused on quality. Okay, stage two. Now what we're gonna do is increase the total volume of the session, but also increase the rep length. We're still gonna stick with five reps and we're gonna do five times 400 meters. And the time that we're aiming at for those 400 meter reps is 72 seconds. So it's that 15 minute pace, that three minutes per kilometer that we're aiming at. And those are gonna be harder, so we need to build up to it. So you need to build volume over those 200 meters and get to a point where you feel comfortable to do five times 400 meters controlled at 72 seconds per 400 meters. In between, in the rests, keep it at one minute. Always keep it at one minute and focus on bringing your heart rate down from high, getting your breathing under control, heart rate is low, and then we're able to go again. And with that, we're able to pace the session and understand what we're capable of for each individual 400 meter rep. Stage three. Now we're gonna increase the volume again and increase the rep length slightly. So it's not as big a jump as 200 meters to 400 meters. We're just gonna increase that rep length to 600 meters. And we're gonna try to hit one minute and 48 seconds per 600 meters so that we're hitting that 15 minute time again for 5K. We're building volume five times 600 meters at 15 minute pace, which is going to make us gradually get more comfortable working at the pace that we're trying to hit in our 5K goal. Again, keep the rest 60 seconds and get yourself used to bringing your heart rate high to low in control going after the session again. That's gonna help you not only in the training and moving forward faster, but it's also gonna help you when you're racing. Stage four. Now, this is a big session. We're gonna do five times 800 meters. And you're gonna aim for two minutes and 24 seconds per 800 meters. So it's four kilometers of total volume. So we're not yet at the five kilometer volume, but if you're able to hold five times two minutes 24 seconds for 800 meters, then you're there or thereabouts. You're getting close to that goal. And that might have taken you four or five weeks. It might have taken you four or five months. It might take you a year or two years. The, the key is that we're moving forward towards an extremely ambitious goal. That's why initially the goal has to be exciting enough for you to get out of bed and absolutely go for it and give the sessions, the key sessions like this and the other training, the respect it deserves for you to achieve lofty goals. Okay, stage five, big session. Five times a kilometer with a minute rest in between. So if we can get to this point where we've done the 200s, the 400s, the 600s, the 800s, and now we're able to do five times a kilometer in three minute pace, so we're working with exactly the same volume that we're going to be working with on race day, both the distance and the time, that should give you a lot of confidence because you're working with accumulated fatigue. You're on tired legs. You've not got that taper yet that's gonna give you that race day energy that you really need. So if you can do five times a kilometer on tired legs, what is that gonna do for you on race day? Now, depending on the rest of your training and your emphasis on endurance as well as speed, and also how gradually you go through the stages, 
you're not going to be able to go from week one, 200 meter reps to week five kilometer reps and then go for it. It's going to be more gradual than that. Otherwise you're gonna come unstuck. What you want to be feeling like in those sessions is that if pushed, you could do another one or two reps. That's a good signal to say, okay, I can move forward in distance, both the volume and the rep length, and then you can move forward. But depending on the rest of your training, this should bring you out at between 15 minutes and 15.50 for the 5K. Once you've freshened up your legs, you've got rid of that accumulated fatigue, you've done a taper, you can really go at it with confidence if you've done those five times a kilometer in three minutes. What's really gonna help you out, go faster than 15 minutes, is you wanna be building pace and volume at below three minutes per kilometer pace. So whether that's five seconds, 10 seconds, or 15 seconds per kilometer faster, you wanna be building at that pace so you make the 5K feel as comfortable as possible for as long as possible within a race. Ideally, you want to be getting to three and a half, 4K, and you feel like you've still got plenty to give and you're not hanging on for dear life. So what that might look like is you go back and you start at 200 meters and then the 400 meters and the 600 meters, but you'll work at 245 pace or 250 pace or 255 pace, gradually get quicker, that's gonna make the 5K feel way more comfortable. And again, you can apply these times and that method to whatever time you're aiming for. I was having a really good conversation last night with somebody who's just run a PB for 5K for 20 minutes and 18 seconds. Asked him what he's capable of, and he couldn't understand why he wouldn't be capable of running 15 minutes for 5K. And that's a great mentality to have. Whereas a lot of people they look around them at what's possible, other races, running club, etc., and then they set their own goals based on other people. Work to your own goals. But let me know, what's the fastest you've ever run 5K? And what's your dream time? How far are you away from it?